house like this. <laughs> okay, well, if I lean more on this. Yeah. Because I can't just. I'll be like making abs all day, you know? <laughs> No way, what was that? I was like, hi guys, we're the Estrada, Estrada Sisters! sisters. <laughs> it's so no, 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 no! Hey guys, we're the Estrada Sisters! No! Hey guys, we're the Estrada, Estrada Sisters! sisters. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel! Um, so basically, we're gonna start doing more of these types of videos. We realized that all of our content, basically, on our YouTube channel right now, is vlogs. And that's not, like, while those are really fun to film and to edit and stuff like that, that's not really all that we are a capable of offering give, yeah, exactly. on our channel. We thought it'd be cool if we started off on some, like, cosplay tips and stuff, so we're trying to think of, like, how to get started with that because there's so much to talk about when it comes to cosplay. So we're like, okay, the first yeah. thing that you would need to do is plan. So this video is going to be on cosplay planning. And we have a really good process, we think. Because we get that, that question a lot, too, yeah. I was going to say. We get asked a lot on our Instagrams, like, how do you plan out your cosplays and your costumes and stuff like that? So we're about to show you yeah. what we do. Our process. So step, step one, one. Get a, a book. book. <laughs> <laughs> so mine's all shiny and pink. Mine's just very alien. Mine's just serious black. And, and mine's just black marble. Yeah, it's nice. Nothing the, special. The thing that I love about this one the most, though, is that it zips. So, like, you shut it, you freaking zip it up. That's awesome. And, you like, you shove crap in there. And yeah. Just, like, if you have, like, <laughs> swatches and stuff, they don't fall out. That's my favorite part. Oh, that's, that's, that's true. true. And I have a lot of loose papers. I have a little pocket in mine, actually, where I put, like, stuff. And this is actually part of my cosplay. But oh I put God. it yeah. in here so that it doesn't get ruined. I mean, mine has this little... Yeah, that's good, too. ...thingy. But a uh, little... Quick thing, this is my newest book and I just just started it, so I don't know why I brought it for this video, but I can show you what I have so far. Yeah. So yeah, the first step is get a book. Just get yeah. a book. Just get a book. Just get a notebook. Yeah. We prefer like she likes the one that zips. I think that's a good idea. We like the spirals. We like we all like ones with spirals because you can like flip it around. Flip it around, do whatever. Yeah, and I really like mess up my book. I'm just, I like throw it and also it has to be portable. Like portable. the big ones are good, but you can't take them with you, can't you take places. Them. Yeah, like a small notebook. That's yeah. Like, Something that you can take with you shopping. Everywhere. That's important. Fabric shopping. Yeah. yeah. Step two. Write down your cause plans for that year. So if you already sort of know which cosplays you want to do for that full year, or at least for the beginning of the year, if you already also have an idea of the cons that you're going to do, just like write down all the cons that you yeah. plan on, and then like prioritize your yeah. cosplays per con. Make a list of all the cons that are coming up and the dates of the con, yeah. and then like which cosplays you want to do each con. So that, that way you're more organized and you know your deadlines. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you might need to order a wig, for example, on eBay, let's say, and it says arrival date like between Three May months. and June or something <laughs> like that. You have to, and you're doing a cosplay in like July, then you're gonna want to order that wig first. So you're not stuck later on. Yeah, you really have to time everything accordingly. So I don't know, this is just my quick one because I just started this book, but for reference, like con list, and then I have all the conventions that I'm doing, the dates of those conventions. This was like a, a rough copy. And then briefly what I felt like doing at those cons. So I'm just writing them here just so I know approximately like which ones I'll be doing first, if there's anything I need to buy, if it's cosplays I already have. Yeah, like here I have a list of all of the cosplays I'm doing and then broken down by each character, like what I need to buy. This one I wrote like wig, style the wig, um, vest, I need to make the vest. So an example of like one character would be like for Frida, I wrote like, like I broke down the items that I needed, so the shirt earrings, the skirt, and then papaya, my monkey. So what I wrote was like, like buy the fabric, um, like things that I needed to do for the earrings, find the backs like, the, of the earrings. Skirt, I needed to like buy the fabric, and then for papaya I needed to like buy the warbler, and then mm -hmm. I'll have like the pictures next to it for reference. Like I'll put the photo, the cosplay, and then like write what I need. Fabric, black silk, mm -hmm. this silk, this silk, and then things I needed to make or remake and things I needed to buy. So I'll just put like buy dress shoes. <laughs> and sometimes I write like where I need to get the things next to the like the thing itself. So like for example I put here like Jack Rackham wig when I was shopping for him and it says like I need to go downtown for this. Yeah. And then another yeah. one has like beads. I needed beads so I'm like oh I have to go to the bead store. The like, store. And they're both on the same have street. To write so it's that like, down. Yeah. It's easier. It's easier. I don't have to write that down where to get everything, but it helps me 
like figure it out. Yeah, so yeah. then like when you're there, you can look at the list of stuff you need to get there yeah. and just buy it all at once. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Check off things as you go. It makes it a lot easier knowing what you've already done and what you still need to do. And like we have a store called Village de Valor, or in English it's Value Village. And then I write like next village run and I'll put like mm -hmm. carry high waisted pants, a jacket for Billy, mm -hmm. Trelawney stuff. Like I just put like a list of the stuff I need to get that run that we're doing. Mm -hmm. And it's very easy to forget some stuff. Like for Mary, I kept like Mary Sanderson, I kept forgetting things. She has a lot of small accessories. Yeah. So like you really, really have to study every little thing. This says like round hooks. I would have never <laughs> thought to like get that. But I have to write it down Make because sure otherwise I'm gonna be super last minute like, oh my god, I forgot, I forgot those round hooks <laughs> <Random round. laughs> to close like my vest or whatever. And it's best to like break it down by section. Let's start with the head. Okay, what do yeah. I need for the head? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me write it down just for the head. Like I need, if I need to make a mask or something like that, like what do I need for that mask? Yeah. Do I need like Plasti Dip? Do I need like foam? Like what do I need? Am I making a crown? Like what am I doing for the wig? Do I need to style the wig? And then move down to the next section. Am I making shoulder armors? Yeah. Do I need shoulder pads? Like, just keep breaking it down by section. Yeah, I find that helps less, for me. It makes it less like intimidating. Yeah. Which leads us to a very important step. Step, step three. three. Reference images. Yeah. That's like the most important thing. Key. Print out those reference images as well as having a folder on your iPhone. Yeah, that's what I mm -hmm. do. Whip out her. <laughs> or your laptop or your computer or whatever. Yeah. No, no. It's, no. it's on your it's phone. It's easier because it's easier on your phone, but like, yeah. You don't have access out. to your computer when you're out. Cosplay reference. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, me too. I have one. Wait! You'll see. <laughs> <laughs> and then it cosplay just keeps reference. Going. I'm going, I'm going, this is going, a big folder, going. actually. They yeah, probably can't. This is a see. really big folder. They really probably can't see. That definitely helps because if you're just like, oh, what does that item look like again? Pop up your album. There you go. You know it. You don't have right to like there, search really. through all your photos because I personally have like a million yes, photos. Yes. You don't I have, have to like Google 18, it. I have over 18,000 photos. <laughs> yeah. Oh freaking iPhone. You don't and always have to Google it when you're in the store because then you might not find that specific photo you're looking for. And if you snap some reference images like from the movie itself, which for Hermione Yule Ball, yeah. I did that a lot. I kept them right there in my phone of specific angles that would not be on Google, like the exactly. back of her dress. Yeah. Freeze frame, like the movie, if you're copying it from a movie or whatever. We do a lot of um, cosplays from movies, movie accurate cosplays we try. It's our favorite type of cosplay to do basically. So everyone's always like, how do you get like these screen accurate things? It's like a lot of Should research, that, a lot of research and doing exactly what we said, like yeah. Yeah. taking um, stills of the movie, they have like studio tours and stuff, like especially yeah. for Harry Potter, like and Star Wars. We're lucky. Yeah, yeah, Star Wars. Like they have a lot of studio tours, and a lot of um, fans of these franchises, they like take up close, like super up close images. Yeah. And yeah. When you find those online, they're like super helpful because that helps like, me so much. Yeah. With Ray and with Belle, twenty seventeen. Yeah, you get a lot of the that with that Harry. fine detail. They even had for like Hocus Pocus and such yeah. an old movie, but yeah. like, they still have those like yeah. costumes on display, so we're able yes, to find some that helps Pocus so much. Images. And check forums too, mm -hmm. like yeah. fan forums. Our favorite is the replica prop forum. Yeah, that's like key. everybody's crazy on that forum. People yeah. are crazy psycho. In a good way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. speak to us. Yeah. But if you're kind of designing your own cosplay, that's a different story. And yeah, we were, wanted yeah. to say that you should draw out all your designs. Yeah, keep them right in your book. Also make a list of what you need for that too, which I did with Scar. Even if it's just Break to it down. figure out how to make it, like it's you're not necessarily designing it. Yeah. Like I drew out just like a quick sketch of exactly. like yeah. Hiccup's chest armor because I couldn't figure out like what it looked like. So yeah. this is my um, Lotor armor when I was trying to figure out those pieces because there are so many different like little pieces. I just label them like I go one, two, three, four, yeah. and so on. Mm -hmm. I also like mark down which pieces are going to need to be painted, which pieces are going to have to be like fabric, mm -hmm. like here, like these were fabric pieces. So this was my original design for Scar, and basically I just sketched it all out on this paper and I wrote down on the side what everything was that I wanted. So like fur. Yeah, fabric. fur, this, yeah, mm -hmm. what materials, I'm like antelope skull, belt buckle, stuff like that, and then I broke it down in my book each piece by piece to write down what each piece needed to be made out of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This one is my Loki um, jacket, which I'm actually still in the process of designing because there's so many different like pieces. So 
In addition to all that, you can actually put fun stuff in your book too. Like I made a list of like my cosplays that I already have, like all the cosplays I've done. Just um, as a reference for me, like if I can't figure out which cosplay I want to do for a con or That's like, a good point. I need something really specific. Like one time we were invited to like the Canada Day Parade. And it was like the hottest day of the year and I couldn't decide what to wear. And I'm like, let me just look at my list. Which one is like the coolest? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I was able to decide. That's really helpful too. Yeah. yeah. Or I made a list also of cosplays that I want to do. Just in general, not yeah, like my for list that is year. like oh, ongoing yeah. and it's so long. Yeah, it's also good because you're like, what am I in the mood for? And then you kind of just like consult your list. Mm -hmm. Something that's really, really good is adding swatches to your book, too. Yeah, exactly. What I was gonna say, yeah. yeah. So for my Yule Ball, I broke down, I had a hard time with this pattern, kind yeah. of helped me a lot. So we were like drawing the pattern that I needed to do, all broken down into piece by piece. And then I also dyed it completely by hand, all of the chiffon. So I needed to know which pieces needed to be which color. So I literally drew it all out mm -hmm. and numbered it like by color. So these like first three are like the same color. Then these layers, I like I use different markers too. That's what I wanted to say. Yeah. I have like a ton of markers Me too. It helps to have different colors, matches? color coding stuff. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so cute. I love color coding too. Same. Yeah. And then like I wrote like batches of dye to do, yeah. and then I have all the swatches in here, right in here, so yeah. that's the back and the other side. Was yeah, and if you bring your book to the fabric store or whatever, Which is what we do. it helps when you have your swatches you right swatch. there because you need to either match like a zipper or like yeah. a lining yeah. or like if you a... needed more of that fabric and you ran exactly. out. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. For, like mm -hmm. for Edward Scissorhands, in my old book, I have like all the different swatches of his fabrics because he had so many different weird kinds of leathers that like I wanted to see how they looked together in the fabric store when I was choosing like other ones, yeah. mm -hmm. so I have all the swatches there. Also a helpful thing to have your book for is when you're packing for conventions, that's gonna be yeah. another video, we decided to do that yeah, in a whole yeah. other video, but um, packing for conventions you, is really hard, you can often forget things. Oh yeah. So, <laughs> so as I look at Sam. <laughs> I'm always the one so to forget, forget stuff. She doesn't make a list. <laughs> I do make a list, but like, I forget stuff. I'm really forgetful. Helpful. Lists help. Lists. Right? The cosplays, and I'm gonna bring it closer so you can see. But write the cosplays that you're doing for that convention, and then break down every single thing you need to bring. Then check it off as you pack it in your suitcase. Your normal stuff. Yeah, like, I don't do that because I'm too lazy. Your face wash, your pajamas, yeah. your bathing suit. But then it's a perfect example because when you don't write stuff down, you end up like me. Yeah, yeah. Everything. everything. So anyway, that's about it. Uh, we wanted to kind of try to keep this short and sweet. That was the cause plan slash book, book planning, planning video. Planning. This one's finished actually, so I'm gonna be getting a new one. Okay. This is yeah. my shiny new one, that's why it looks so untouched, but my other one is destroyed. We have so many I have books, like, you guys. Yeah. 20 at home. Yeah, 20, yeah, yeah. We have so many, and like when you look through them, there's so many memories. Yeah. yeah. Old designs, and you're like, oh yeah, I like that about never, that. Yeah. yeah. That never came to that, fruition. Yeah. No, yeah. That, was deceased. It's gone. <laughs> it's also, like she said, really good to look back on and say, yeah, wow, I did, that, I did that. Yeah. Like I looked back on my Winifred one and I was like, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Sometimes I look back and I'm like, how did I do that? Like, yeah. Honestly, I was so stressed doing that, but yeah. I did yes. it. Yes. Like, it planning. makes me feel like accomplished. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can't even imagine not having a book. I know. I, I feel like in the dark. Yeah. It just helps you like organize your thoughts. Yeah. I also wanted to show you guys that I actually keep a bulletin board right above my computer desk where I have my cause plans just for like the month or whatever. Um, whatever I'm currently working on, I'll tack it up here and it just kind of also helps me keep my cosplay thoughts organized and it reminds me of the things that I have to do and the things that I'm working on. And I get to look at it every day because it's right above my computer so it just reminds me to get my butt into gear and continue working. <laughs> That's about it guys, so thank you for watching. I'm gonna try to make more videos like this because we mostly just have vlogs on our channel. We want to do more like giving back branch to out. you guys. Yeah, we wanna branch out because we have a lot to say in this hobby. Yeah. We've been in it for like 10, 10 years, years plus years. A decade. That's enough. And we get yeah. a lot of questions about these things. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna go eat so. Easter dinner. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Give it a like if you like this type of video. Guys, bye! bye. Where are your notes? I lost my notes. <laughs> <laughs> was it closer? I think it was closer. Yeah, me too. I'll check. So, as I was saying. So, sometimes you need to order a wig. Hold on, I'm singing. Sorry, I can't wait. Which leads us to a very important step. Step, step three! Press it for! Wait! Wait for me, guys. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay.
Okay. I made a list of like my cosplays that I, I already, I can't even see, we're so far. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's gonna see anything.